I hope to hell you're satisfied. Well, I'm tickled pink, little brother. I appreciate the concern, though. You know, why don't you just take a gun to the... Well, there are laws against that, even for Capwell. Mason, I'm telling you, you gotta talk to Dad. You are the only person who can get Mom and Dad back together. If you don't, Mason, this whole family is over for good. I will CC Capwell's personal garbage dump long enough. Let him shovel his own for a while. You, you, you can't leave it like this, Mason. I can do anything I want to, little brother. I'm rich. Now, if you don't want to join me, hit the road. I got some serious celebrating to do. Well, I don't, what has happened to you? I have died and gone to heaven. That's what's happened to me. <laughs> well, people aren't exactly lining up to congratulate us. Forget it. We got $10 million. We're untouchable. At that price, silence is golden. Yeah, C.C. Capwell can buy mine any time. Now it's time to just sort of lay back and uh, suck on the fruits of his labors. First item on my personal agenda is to kiss Mason Capwell goodbye. You think you'll go quietly? Hey, Capwell, you in there? Listen up and listen good. Now on, I'm 100% Sunday Sprocket, Cowboy Deluxe, riding a range in my solid gold Cadillac. Day 11's here by my side. <laughs> Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and my skies are not cloudy hey, all wait a day. Minute. Don't you mean our skies? Never mind what people think. Heck with them. <laughs> we shouldn't worry about them anyways. Let them take their best shot at us. We are bulletproof. Man, Mason, you dead. So how are we gonna spend that ten million? On dreams, sugar bun. And yours is about to come true. You would rather burn evidence and pay off a blackmailer than give money to families whose lives you've ruined? What price pride, CC? What damn price? This is not about my pride. How can you sleep at night? I don't. I sleep terribly because I constantly worry about my family. Why else do you think I did this? Spare me from that lame, overworked excuse that we've both used for too long. Really? Is it lame to want to do everything in your power to protect your loved ones? No. But it's cowardly, and in this case, criminal to hide behind them, and I'm to blame, too. Anything is good as long as it's good for the good of the family. Is that right, Dad? Greed, corruption, murder? Well, we certainly bring out the best in each other, don't we? Should I say we did? Please, Sophia. Please, don't shut me out now. Well, I have to, Cece, for the rest of the world, because if we stay together, we might destroy it all for the sake of our precious family, and no marriage is worth that. Least of all, this pathetic union. I'm leaving. It is over. And our family will just have to survive without us. I'm okay, darling. How are you? No, I don't know where she is yet, but I swear to God, I, I, I know I'm close. I, I can't, I can't tell you about it now, but just, I'll call you again as soon as I know. your last chance of seeing Adriana goodbye. <laughs> not, not letting me live is going to do you any good. What are you waiting for, Cruz? Directions? Well, why don't you go ahead and kill me now? Oh, Doc, I'm never going to tell you where your baby is. Ferraris are cute. I lose my license within a week. Maybe I could get a Rolls. Why, they're so common. Yeah. Looks like Christmas came a little late this year, huh? Oh, so you heard? Money talks. Yeah, 10 million screams. Yeah. Well, now that you're rolling in it, I guess you don't need my rent. 
funny. What are you saying? It's time to move on. Yeah? Well, don't let the door hit you in the wallet on your way out. Oh, you're not oh, I'm leaving. I'm going to miss you too, cowboy. You're not going to go anywhere, Bunny. There's no reason for you to. Uh, nothing about our relationship has to change. Well, I can think of one thing. Sonny, will you stop it? Bunny has been a good friend to us both. Yeah, I'm damn sight friendlier to you. Sonny, why don't you go and buy a building or something? Just get out of here so Bunny and I can talk. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have to see a man about a horse, so I'll leave you two alone for a spell. But when I get back, I want you in your party clothes, because we're stepping out. See you, Faison. Bunny, maybe I haven't made it clear enough. But your friendship means an awful lot to me. You're like a rock to me. I don't know how I would have gotten through the past couple of months without you. I need you. I don't want to lose you. Answer me one thing. You got it all, right? Everything you always said you wanted? Well, everything money can buy. Tastes real sweet, don't it? Dream come true. What I got to know is, is Sonny part of the package? Was he just your ticket to ride? Or is he the grand prize? Look. I gave up a long time ago looking for the perfect man, the one man that could fulfill all my needs, everything I wanted in one person. I need different people for different things. Now, well, who do you need love from, Gina? Who do you need the love? You and the Lone Ranger, you're planning on playing house, right? A couple of horses in the corral, his and her saddle blankets, rawhide sheets on the one bunk bed. Look in my eyes, Gina, and tell me you love Sonny. What's love got to do with it? Answer me. I don't want to answer you. I don't even want to think about it. It's, it's irrelevant to me. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I just want to have a good time. Is that so horrible? I hope not. I hope not. Hello. Julia, it's me. Cruz, where are you? Is everything okay? Fine. Eden said that you had uh, a message or something for me. Put it mildly. You can't talk, can you? Is that there? Yes. All right, then just listen. Our boy kept another bizarre shrine in the basement, and this one had more pictures of Eden, but made it obvious that she's not his, his primary obsession. And did it make it obvious what is? And we paid her a visit, and this woman is terrified. She danced around every question that we asked her. And we both got the impression that she and Zach had some sort of incestuous relationship. Oh, good Lord. Not sure what to make of it, except I'm convinced that this sister of his is somehow the key to the whole, the whole nightmare. Uh-huh. Well, Julia, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, information. If there's anything I can do, you let me know. You want me to call the department? And... No, 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 no. no. This one's mine. I'll be in touch. Don't you understand? This is just business. Yeah, you're every day backstabbing, two-timing, dirty dealing. Oh, it's a cutthroat world out there, as you're so fond of saying. Well, we wield the knife better than anyone, CC. In self-defense. And that excuses everything. You see, my conscience has caught up with me, and I was hoping that yours had to. What happened to that new leaf we were going to turn over? Just the same old maggots underneath it. What the hell has this got to do with us? You. So far gone that you have to ask me that question. Or maybe no, maybe I'm the one who lost it. Did I really think you were going to change, or was I just deceiving myself for a marriage I so desperately wanted to save? Isn't the fact that I love you enough? Not anymore, and I'm ashamed to say that it ever was. But you just keep on trampling everything in your path, and you make promises that you say you're never going to keep, and then you throw up this latest scandal in my face, and I'm supposed to roll over and play dead for love? What about memories? What about the wonderful memories we share, hmm? Oh, yes. The lies that bind. And we have so many of them to cherish, don't we? How do I lie to thee? Let me count the ways. Do you remember this? It's pretty, isn't it? You gave it to me. You gave it to me on Kelly's second 
first day. You couldn't make the party. Business. What was her name? Ah, I remember it was Florence Sims. And if memory serves me, you and she did business in seven cities across the country. We were working. Work this! And what about this? I gave this to you, oh, I gave this to you about a year ago, right before I hired Thompson to frame Pamela Runner out of town. But in the process, he blew up an oil rig, and I caused an environmental disaster. Well, Mother Nature, this one's for you. Sophia trashing this house is not going to right our wrongs. It's a start. Hey, please, come on. Not the poem. Not the poem. You wrote that down on a, on a napkin on our wedding night. I read it a thousand times. It got me through hell. Please don't do this. To become one, united forever, with worlds to conquer. What we did for love, Cecily. Get out of my way! You get out of my way and you stay out! Sophia! 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 This is definitely better, better. It's going to be so exciting from now on. There's good excitement and bad excitement. Did you stop qualifying everything? Professor, we're rich. I thought I was living with Cece. Money sure didn't make him happy. Well, nothing makes him happy. He's always unhappy. But I'm going to be a very happy little millionaire, as you just wait and see. Besides, we can buy anything we want. We can do anything we want. I want to be with you. I know I want to be with you, too. Nothing's going to keep us apart. Not even Mason? Of course not. I just don't trust the guy. Look, I realize that he could never take Keith's place in your life, but no one will ever take Keith's place in your life. Well, how about in yours? Sometimes I don't even understand what I see in Mason. But he gives me something I need, even if I don't know what it is. Boy, love stinks. Man, will you do me a favor? Lighten up with Mason? Give him a chance, at least. Maybe he'll surprise you. There's neat surprises and awful surprises. For my sake? You always pull that one on. It always works. Okay, I'll be nice to him. But there's nice, nice, and polite nice, and not so nice. <laughs> I want to see the DA, so you get Julia Wainwright over here now, you understand me? Would you forget Julia, Dad? The important thing here is to get Mom back. Yeah, right, but we'll have a better chance of putting those pieces back together again. So you're just going to give up? I begged her, son. I wouldn't do that for God himself. So if you got a plan B, just... What is it, Halloween? No, monkey suits with the costumes, Dad. Say howdy to the real thing. You decided to help after all, huh? Help myself to a little I have left. Is that what it is? Mason, this may be the family's last chance. Well, we haven't sunk that low to use him to help. I'll leave you to it. Well, what is it, sonny boy? You here to dump on me about Sophia? Oh, having a little trouble keeping the mare in the corral, Dad? That's understandable. I wore your brand too long myself, but those days are finito. What is this, uh, this dime store cowboy thing you're wearing and that god-awful accent you're using? What is that? Dime store? You know how much this jacket costs? You can afford it. You hit a gloat? Gloat? Oh, man, I'm here to rub your nose in it. I thought you might want to take a look at the real Mason cowboy. Look familiar? What's the matter, Mason? You haven't put me through enough today. You still don't get it, do you? What? The 
the fact that you're dressing up like a silly seven-year-old? Hell, yeah, when I was seven, you had me in that Brooks Brothers drag. You let me run around like this, we might not be having this problem. Oh, C.C. Capwell, he wrote the book on making a son grow up too fast. I hated every second of it. <laughs> you think I'm joking, don't you? Well, I'm not. What you see is what I get. Chance to finally be myself. You get the new office, Dad. I got a childhood to make up. the truth for a change. Yeah, the truth is no one's ever going to know me. You count on that. The whole effect depends on the grand mystery of you, right? You can bet your life on it. Or misunderstood little Saki boy. You know the part I don't get? Why Eden? Why pretend to be obsessed with her? Pretend? Oh, there's no game. Eden and I were meant to be together. Adriana's going to bring us together for good, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you know, I'm disappointed in you. I expected something more imaginative. I guess maybe because Eden is so beautiful and special, I thought it would throw us off track. He's trying to rattle me. It's not going to do any good. It's been a change. You felt it. Talk to her, you hold her, you make love. She's not there, is she? She's with me. She thinks about me every waking moment. She dreams about me. You can't touch her, Cruz. <laughs> She's lost to you forever. you and Eden were meant to be together, crock, because that's what it is, it's a crock. And beyond that, the shrine in your basement what, what, tells a different story. What, what, the shrine what you in your basement. About, what? I'm talking about the touching monument to brotherly love in your basement. <laughs> You're hung up with a woman, all right. <laughs> but it's not my wife, is it? It's your sister, Claire. I don't have a sister. Now, why did I know you were going to say that, Zach? My sister is dead. Don't you wish? You stop me if you've heard this before. But your sister Claire is alive, though not well. In a sanitarium, Julia Wainwright and Father Michael spoke to her yesterday. She had some rather amazing observations about your family life. Bitch is lying. What's that, Zach? I, she's she's lying she, about everything. Oh, then why are you so upset? I mean, what the hell did she do to you? What happened between the two of you, pal? What did you do to your little sister? What did I do? Why don't you ask her what she did to me? Together? For an adult, my mom can be criminally dim. <laughs> Lights go out upstairs on everybody from time to time, kid. What you gotta realize is that life can muscle in on your territory. You know what I mean? Not a clue. It can get in the way of what you had in mind. 
They learn to roll with it. Well, at least until you can find somebody to break life's kneecaps. Can we get to the point? I don't have much time. <laughs> the point is that your mama, she may be off the wall, but she's one fine lady. And she loves you more than breathing. Now, if she thinks she needs to do this, you gotta let her go ahead and do it. And I mean with a smile on your face. Even when she's making a big mistake? Especially then. I don't like this deal any more than you do, pal. Let me tell you something. I respect your mom's right to screw up her life, and you should too. But you gotta keep an eye out on her. Anything you need, anytime, I'm there. Thanks. I think. Oh, yeah. Hey, you two plot some deal? Might say that. Brandon, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Let's go. Neato. Come on, we're gonna have fun. You'll see. Yeah, I got a little party favor for you in the car. Put you in the mood. A ball on the chain. Hey. So, what are we waiting for? Yeah, right. Uh, listen, Bunny, about what I said earlier. What, about how sorry you are that I'm leaving? Yeah, words to that effect. Mm. I just want you to know there's no offense intended. Oh, it's not taken. I just considered the source. Yeah, well, you can't go wrong there. Anyhow, Gina, won't, uh, that is, we'd both like you to join the celebration. Please do. Well, you can pull his arm down from behind his back. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but I got other plans. Yeah, well, uh, plans change, so if, uh, if yours do... Come on. You know, I can easily find out from Claire. But I'd rather hear it from you. What did she do to you? You should just worry about what Eden does to me. Eden gives you an excuse. We both know that. What does Claire give you? You're obviously scared to death of her. You just leave my sister out of this. You afraid she'll kiss and tell, or does it go deeper than that? Did she molest you? No! Don't you touch me, man! I'll break your neck! Did she molest you sexually? Uh-huh. Did it happen more than once? I see. So your own sister raped you repeatedly. Get out of here! You're just blowing smoke! If I'm blowing smoke, pal, I'm blowing it in the right direction. I saw you with Celeste. Father Michael and I were across the street with binoculars, and we were appalled by what we saw. There was nothing you could do to respond to this beautiful woman who seemed to want you so bad. Seemed to know she wanted She wanted you. You kidding, man? We set the whole thing up because we knew you'd come running back pretty soon in your Halloween costume. Your cute little black mask. Shut and your up! Knife. Shut up or you're going to find your baby. You know, this whole town, every single person in Santa Barbara would be laughing out loud thinking who this murderous psychopath was really just a frightened little boy. Damn you, I'm going to kill you. You think I hurt those other women? I'm going to make you suffer. <laughs> oh, Zach. <laughs> Don't you get it, pal? You're gone. Zach, let me explain. Look at me! Look at me! You're done. You're nothing but a victim. And you're basically still Claire's desperate little brother. Flailing away for attention. And you know what's amazing about it, pal? After what you did to Andrea and to Diane and to my beautiful wife. I can't bring myself to 
paid you. Too pathetic. I just wish I'd been able to stop. This had better be good. I don't know about that, Judy, but it'll be short and sweet if you cooperate. No, already I don't like the sound of this. All I want you to do is issue a statement saying the case against me is closed. Would you like me to pin a medal on you while I'm at it? You can't keep dragging my name through the mud, you Judy. You drag it. I can hardly find it in all the mud. You don't have any evidence substantiating any charges against me either. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Do you think it could have anything to do with the fact that you just paid your son a fortune for the proof that he stole from me, which is blackmail and against the law, but why split hair? So why did you arrest your ex-fiancé? I wish I could. Instead, you take out your personal problems on me, huh? Read the fine print. Your deal with Mason doesn't include me clearing you of diddly, not to mention the fact that you're as guilty as hell. So you're gonna waste the taxpayers' money keeping a dead case open indefinitely? That's my business. What I can't believe is that's all you care about. Your own flesh and blood is blackmailing you. Aren't you the least bit curious why Mason takes this kind of pleasure in bringing Not you any to your longer, meeting? I don't. I don't care a damn what makes Mason run anymore. And obviously, you haven't bottomed out either, because you seem to think that you can understand why he hurt you. Well, maybe this will help you a little bit. What is this? I'm supposed to go here? What does this have to do with Mason? Ask him yourself. He's holding court this afternoon. Thank you, Dusty. Ladies and gentlemen, gents and regulars, lend me your beers. I know it's uh, customary when celebrating to buy drinks at the house, but uh, I just bought the house. Yeah. <laughs> now on, you're going to drown your sorrows at Gina's place. Honor of the sweetest little cowpoke at this side of the Rio Grande. So it's all you can drink, partners, all day long on Gina. <laughs> so nobody ever bought me a dump before. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a pleasure, Uncle. Just that this isn't just a social call. Gina, huh? She's still giving you headaches. Maron, I've tried everything but aspirin. Well, then you try again. A new way. Because love, Bernardo, is an incurable disease. It's no use. She and that saddle sore struck gold. The last thing in the world I needed was for him to make her rich. So what? I mean, is money required to paint your name on her sweet lips? Then I, you know... She's even agreed to move in with him, Uncle. Huh? Must be some cannoli in the sack. I don't know. I never even got that far with him. I mean him. What else he got you don't, huh? What do you mean, I don't? It's just that Gina won't give my cannoli a tumble, that's all. I mean, uh, this God's gift to women. His name is, uh, Jason... Capwell? Capwell. Capwell. Mason Capwell. Also goes by the name of Sonny Sprocket. Uh -huh. Why? How could a Tagliati let a hayseed like that steal the mother of his children, huh? I mean, doesn't Gina want to bear a son that's directly descended from the great Caesars? Well, she'd probably say, who cares if great-great-great-great-great-grandpa's uh, invented a salad? All right. You just keep peeling Cleopatra's grapes. Sometimes the, uh, the gods look kindly on those who help themselves. Once in a while, they send down a bolt from the blue. How old were you when your sister started abusing you? I felt this rage building up inside of me, but... I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't... I didn't know how to let it out. Of course you couldn't let it out. A five-year-old wouldn't even know that he could fight back. Children are taught to obey. You were just doing what you were told. I used to play Zorro, and when I was, uh, whenever I was, um, 
with Claire, I'd, I'd imagine myself crashing through a window or swinging down from a chandelier to save myself. Only I wouldn't just carve my initials in her shirt. I'd slice that bitch to ribbons. Wearing a black mask. Would you, uh, tell me something? Why does something like this happen? I don't know. It seems everywhere you turn today, you run across the consequences of children growing up unloved. Always loved. Type of love that makes you want to crawl into a hole and die. That's not what I'm talking about. A kid needs to know that their parents are gonna take care of them no matter what. I would die to protect my children. The first I would try to kill. And I know you respect that, Zach. Which is why you're not going to condemn my little girl to the kind of life you've had. You're going to give her back to me. And when you do, I'm going to try and help you. I'm going to do whatever I can to see that you get a chance at a decent life. If you give my baby the same chance. She's uh, in a house. Get a map book. She's up on Desert Rim Drive and... Uh, had a mammy taken care of her. place and named it after her. Your mom's the Gina? Yeah. But don't spread it around, okay? You think you get my dad a raise? He's too cheap to buy me Nintendo. You like video games? I love them. Me too. Have you ever played Galactic Death Ray? That's my favorite. How about Pulverizer? I'm like almost perfect at that. You think maybe we could play sometime? Sure. But I'm pretty hot, though. I guess I could spot you a few thousand points. That'd be nice. What's your name? I'm Brandon. I'm Anissa. That's different. Beats Trigger. I was supposed to be named after this Mexican Indian girl in some old Western story my dad knows by heart. 
she was supposed to be beautiful. What happened to her? She got run over in a stampede. I wish. <laughs> Maybe I'd be called something normal. Really, Anissa fell in love with this cowboy, but nobody in town would accept them. So they ate poison cactus and died in each other's arms. Boy, love's weird. But Anissa's kind of nice. I was named after some guy who runs a TV network. <clears throat> All right, it's time for a little live entertainment. I take uh, most requests except for get off the damn stage. <laughs> front yard is reunion time again some are joining in the cakewalk some discussing the wages of sin in the last country walls where the old people talk about the sweet by and by and the old rugged cross and Jamie First one to leave here, last one to get home to the last country walls where the old people talk about the sweet by and by and the old rugged cross as a shadow on the full moon and two lovers down the lane. You okay? Sure, I'm fine. It's a desert rim road. You'd only be another half miles. No, no, wait. The, uh... No, that's the turn off. The uh, dog, Lyle, how is she, huh? <laughs> what favor? I ask after your loved ones, you say I want a favor. Well, actually, uh, anyway, there is one small thing. You remember uh, my nephew, Bernardo? <sighs> no more, no more. He doesn't wear those anymore. He just wears the best Italian suits. Yeah, men suits. Look, uh, look, anyway, Lyle, this favor. His name is... Uh, Mason Capwell. Also calls himself Sonny Sprocket. Businessman. More of a personal thing. Take care of him for me, will you? Here's my man. Bunny, boy, am I glad to see you. Sure you are. So, you can introduce me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Bunny, Anissa. Anissa, Bunny. Anissa? It's a pleasure to meet you. You and my pal here having a good time? Oh, a cowboy. Hey, it's not where you are, it's who's picking up the tap. Enjoy for you, Bellas. Enjoy. Bunny? That's not even close to the weirdest thing about him. But he's my friend. Looks like he really likes you. I think he likes you, too. It was awfully nice of you to buy me this place, Sonny. <laughs> Especially nice of you to call it Gina's. Don't tell me Sonny Sprocket's getting romantic in his old age. <laughs> oh, if your plan had bought it, I just laid down the cash. It was a hell of a plan. I must admit that myself. There's only one thing that could have gone wrong. What's that, C.C. Capwell getting morals? No. Julia finding out that Mason has a slip personality. She's the only one who could ever bring Mason back. Hiding in the beer, running through the whiskey. Legal defense outlay, hush money, call whoever the hell you want. The 10 million is out of my mind right now. I was forced to liquidate several vital holdings. Get to the bottom line. We've been rocked. I can do something with uh, creative bookkeeping, but as far as covering up some of your losses, it's... Uh... What about my emotional losses? Can you pay them? I'm 
much is my life worth? Get out. Thanks for the ride. 